This just came out in the Tennessean. They said that we are below average in regards to health and it's costing us billions. We have the most obese kids in the US. We are on, on average five to 8% higher in the categories that list obesity, cancer, heart attacks, inflammation. They also stated that the healthcare industry in regards to employment in 2015, over 18 billion was spent in the state of Tennessee. So with all that said, and with that fact, where do you think we should rank in regards to the health? Well, unfortunately, we rank almost dead last. You know, the way I see it is, is what we're doing is not working. So I want to kind of give you an idea in regards to what we do for our patients and what we explain to them, because if you're educated, you have an idea of what health is, you'll have a better chance of actually not ending up as one of those statistics. The first so, thing that we start with is we ask patients, well, what is your definition of health? And they may say, well, you know, it's diet or it's exercise, but the actual definition of health is how the body is healing and functioning. We could go, say, a month without food. It, that wouldn't be fun, would it? Absolutely not. You can go, you know, even maybe a couple of seconds to actually minutes without air, water. You can go days without water. None of that's fun. But when it comes to the nervous system, you cannot go one second without proper nerve supply. So let's turn to the nervous system now. And so what controls everything in the body? That's going to be your brain. The brain controls every single organ, cell, tissue. You know, for you all to actually see and understand and hear this video right now, your brain is actually sending all those mental impulses. So the brain sends life down this spinal cord, out these nerves to tell your heart how to beat, the lungs how to breathe. You know, if you were to cut your arm, the same power that heals that cut on your arm, and the coolest thing about that is, is those in, that information, so a scab forms, correct? That information is going down at lightning speed to that cut until it's actually healed at 100%. To me, that's a pretty awesome process, right? We don't. That's something we don't actually think about. So when we look to the nervous system to understanding that all life exists there, as a chiropractor, what we focus on is looking at your spine because doctors can check your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys. They can check all that. But when we turn to health and understand health, it's how the body is healing and functioning. We know this as chiropractors and any research and, and science will tell us that when we look at the spine, that when it's in proper position, 45 degrees in the neck, 45 degrees in the mid back and 45 degrees in the low back, that your brain can communicate with all your organs close to 100 percent. Now, when that spine's in that position, then the body is healing and functioning at that level, right? So unfortunately, what can happen over time, the bones can actually misalign, which is going to put pressure on the nervous system, affecting any kind of life that's going through there. Now, it's not going to cut it off completely because if you were to, say, cut that nerve to your heart, what's going to happen? It's going to quit beating, right? So, you know, I know for me, like, if I chew gum and try to do, you know, multitask, that's just trouble for me, right? I'm a male. That's, that's normal. So think about that. So if we were to chew gum and we had to think about our heart beating, most of us men would be in trouble, wouldn't we? So when we look at the, the nervous system and we're looking to see how well the body's healing and function, as a chiropractor, what we do is, is we look to the spine to see how well the spine's in its proper positioning so there's not pressure on the spinal cord and the nerves. I'll tell you this, chiropractic heals absolutely nothing. You're the doctor. When that spine's in its proper position, your body has a you know, that ability to function at a higher level. Are you with me on that? That makes sense, correct? So when we look at the reason why people come into our office, there's a couple reasons why, obviously, the, the main reason is, is for pain, right? I will tell you this, that it's, it's way beyond that. And that's one reason why we do corrective care, which I'm going to get into in just a minute. So looking down at this image here, this is actually a nerve bundle. So that's the nerve that actually comes out of the hole in the spine, this is what an actual nerve bundle looks like. And you see this portion here? These are the pain fibers, right? Only five, about 5% 5 of your nervous system is for actual pain. The other 45% of those nerves is, is what's called your autonomic nervous system. And what's this say here? Sinuses, allergies, low energy, as that's your problem. So this is actually for, for controlling your, your cells, your systems of the body. And this portion here is for actually fine motor movement, right? So majority of that nervous system is for life to your body. But again, most people go to a chiropractor for what? Only 5%. 
And then when do most people stop care? Once they're out of pain. A lot of times we base our health on how we feel. We think if we don't have pain, then we don't have a problem, right? But did you know that you can actually have pressure on your nervous system and not feel that? Because only 5% of that nerve is for pain. Okay, so that's when we look to the spine again and understand that if it's in proper position, then these organs are functioning at a higher level. And again, that's why we do spinal correction in this office. And we take x-rays to be able to determine, is your spine in its proper position? So some of you out there right now watching this video, you're probably wondering, is there a possibility you have subluxation or a misalignment in your spine that's affecting your body. And what we're gonna give you the opportunity to actually do is come into our office and we'll do exam and x-rays, x-rays if needed, and we can determine if you do have that pressure on your nervous system that's affecting your overall health. Because again, it's not about how your body is feeling, it's about how your body is healing and functioning. So if that's something that you'd like to take advantage of, come on into our office or give our office a call. The phone number you can reach us at is 615-646-6700.